How are we feeling? Good? All right, good deal. So um, this morning, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, something that you guys always love to do, and that's uh, washing your hands. Now, do you guys always wash your hands? Yeah? When, when, do you, when does your parents ask you to wash your hands? Before you eat, yeah? Yeah? You don't? <laughs> I better talk to your dad about that. <laughs> Yo, so I would, I would say, too, if I was honest, when I was a kid and my parents told me to wash my hands before dinner, sometimes I wasn't very truthful when I said I did, but I didn't, right? Have you guys ever done that? Yeah. We're in a safe space here, right? <laughs> it's okay, yeah. But, you know, why, why is it important to wash your hands before you eat? You don't want to get germs, right? Yeah, because uh, maybe one awesome summer day that it rained and you guys decide to jump in muddy puddles, right? Or maybe make mud pies, you know? That you get a little dirty. You don't want to have that when you eat, right? No? Right? No. <laughs> well, and in Jesus' time, too, there was, there was people called the Pharisees. Um, they, they were more interested, they weren't in, um, interested in the law of making sure they wash their hands before they eat, not just because it is a little gross, but they used it like as a check mark, you know, like to show everybody else that they are better, that they always do these, these tasks and stuff. So they noticed that, uh, Jesus' disciples, they wouldn't wash their hands um, before they ate. So they approached Jesus and asked him, like, why, Teacher, why do your disciples not wash their hands? And so do you think they were really concerned about them being dirty with their hands? Do you guys think so? I think they were just trying to catch them in a trap, right? So what Jesus told them later on is that... Um, it's not what you put into your mouth that makes you unclean, but it's what comes out of your mouth that makes you unclean. So Jesus was trying to tell the Pharisees that, you know, the whole purpose of the law was not to show everybody, hey, I'm here, and then Kyler's down here. He's not as good as me. No, that's not what we say here. The, what the law shows us is that we are all the same. Whether we, we sin a little or a lot, it's all the same in God's eyes. We all fall short, you know, of God's glory and grace. So uh, the thing that we need to make us have clean hands and pure hearts is that we need Jesus to help us in that. We can't do it by ourselves, right? We can wash our own hands by ourselves, but we can't have clean hearts by ourselves, right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. I'm going to help you out there. <laughs> so... What I want you guys to remember every time that you wash your hands, I'm not, we need to wash our hands. This is very important, okay? But when we wash our hands, let's remember that it's only through Jesus is that he can give us clean hands and hearts that we can uh, praise and give glory to God. So let's pray right now. We're going to ask God to help us have clean hands and hearts, okay? You ready? Are you going to pray? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you um, for all the, the great things that he showed us while he was here on earth. Um, he showed us that through the law that it's, uh, that it's not just a, a bar that we set to make sh to, from our neighbors or, or our friends, but we, we know that it's Jesus uh, is the perfect representation of what it was to live a perfect life. Um, nobody comes close to him, Lord. So when we look at ourselves, we should always fix our eyes on Jesus. And so that we do not boast in, in what the things that we check off, that we think are important, Lord. We just pray that you uh, give us clean hands and a clean heart and a pure heart so that we could openly worship you and shed all the things uh, on Sunday and throughout the week that are about us and that it's all about you. And we know that we, we ask this because it's only you that can help us do that. So, Lord, we, we thank you for your son, and we pray in his holy name. And all God's kids say, 
Amen. Ooh.